Hi there, and this is Terry at Heavy Duty Powertrain. Uh, you know, I haven't made any videos for a while, so let's uh, start off with the first one here for 2017. And, uh, you know, troubleshooting these uh, Cummins L10, M11, and N14 engines that uh, won't start. Uh, <clears throat> what I'd like to do on either one, L10, M11, or N14, is uh, go right to uh, checking the uh, voltage at the fuel solenoid. And that uh, that doesn't just mean uh, a test light. It's very uh, important that you use a, uh, a voltmeter on it to uh, establish if you've got 12 volt at the fuel solenoid. And that can range really between six and 12 volt or all the way down to no voltage and what I have found that uh, you know I start off sometimes and uh, check that voltage with the key on and sometimes with the key off what will happen if you got the key off and say you got six volts there then uh, that tells me that uh, your ground's not hooked up and uh, it's strange how uh, voltage does what it does, but, um, you know, you shouldn't have any voltage with the key off. And if you do, then uh, good chance that the ground is uh, not hooked up and it's uh, finding its way back around and grounding back through, uh, you know, the uh, block and ECM and whatever, and it'll show up like six volts. So the other is... Um, Let's say it shows up at uh, 8 volts there, uh, you know, and that's too low with the key on. And, uh, you know, you may <clears throat> want to go ahead and take that wire off the fuel solenoid. And uh, let's say that jumps up to, uh, you know, 12 volt low. When you take the wire off, that tells you that the fuel solenoid is uh, shorted out. And uh, it's drawn down voltage. It's almost like it's uh, going to ground. And it actually, if a fuel solenoid fails bad enough, it'll be just like you're taking that hot wire that the ECM is supplying the 12 volt to and putting it to ground. And if that goes on long enough, it'll actually burn up the ECM. So a fuel solenoid is uh, the first step to, um, you know, checking it out. Uh, you know, why it won't start. Uh, <clears throat> the other is, um, again, with your uh, voltmeter hooked up, when you crank it, it'll probably pull that voltage down to almost 10 volts for a few seconds. And uh, until that voltage really gets above 10 volt, it's probably not going to open up that solenoid correctly and fire the injector. So, you know, that's the other thing you want to check there and uh, get past that. And uh, you find it, <clears throat> you also want to refer, if you get in more in depth, if, uh, if you've got a problem there, then it comes down to my theory of garbage in, garbage out on the voltage. And uh, so that comes down to your injector harness and uh, which uh, runs all the way down to the starter area and there's a three wire plug. It's a flat plug. The middle one is your ground, the two outside of your hot. A lot of times that plug right there gets corroded and uh, doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't make good contact. And uh, we have an upgrade kit for that from the uh, three wire injector harness to the batteries and uh, we sell, <clears throat> sell a lot of um, harnesses right now, injector and sensor harness and that unswitched power harness. Uh, it's a kit that's custom made, uh, you know, per uh, common specs and uh, overrides what the other uh, OEM manufacturers have wired it up. A lot of times they've wired it up to uh, uh, the hot, hot wires go to uh, 
a starter override switch or over to the starter solenoid and the ground goes through the block and then it eventually goes to the battery and it just puts a lot of strain every time you start the engine and everything. That kit runs $125. You can find that on www.n14parts.com and along with every electronic part available for that engine and more, testing equipment and what have you. And again, I'm Terry Cron. You can call me at 810-653-6300. You can text me at 727-494-5514 or email me terry at n14parts.com. But it's 2017 and I'm still offering free tech support and it's worked out great for me. Sales have never been better and saves you guys a lot of money and I think we just have a good working relationship. So appreciate your business and I'll keep putting the videos up. This one's about the fuel solenoid and a little bit and that's really a good start if your engine won't start. So I hope that works out for you. Thank you.